Tammy is in the house. Yes. Um, you ready to bring it? You're ready to bring it, huh, Tammy? I am. I've, I've been in this house for a lot of days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna get to you. I'm gonna t- uh, give a few right. announcements, and then we'll we'll jump right in. Let a few more people. Some people miss the dance party. I tell you, that song is that song is so much fun. I heard that song for the first time. I think I was. Uh, I think let me let me see. I was probably. I'm gonna guess I was probably. 14 or 15, something like that. And uh, of course I couldn't dance a lick back then, but I, my skills have, have improved. You know, if you're not good at something, you can't, and I actually prayed, I would pray. I'd like, Lord, please give me some moves, man. I'm, I suck at dancing. And eventually uh, I got good at it. You know, it took a lot of practice, but welcome, welcome. This is uh, Mentorship Masters are in the house. This is uh, Nolly Coaching Club. We combine the group together. And once a week, I'm able to come to you with what I think you need uh, based on what you've been telling me, the posts that I see, uh, the, when you, the reach outs that I get that you guys reach out and say, hey, I, not, Uncle Nolly, I need help with this. Um, and I basically am able to take all those suggestions and say, okay, here's what we need for this week. And I guarantee you this week is fire, fire, fire. Uh, before we get into it, um, what I want to share with you is a couple things. One, uh, Uncle Nolly was very, very afraid this week. I want to share sort of something that happened with, to me. Um, I had a situation where, uh, so so I have a new book coming out on McGraw Hill. It's called Three Hours a Day. And by the way, the book is now available for pre-order. Okay. Pre-order. It does not ship until July 25. Okay. 2023, D- depending on when you're listening to this, if you're listening to the recording, if it's after July 25, 2023, the book is out. If it's not, then you can pre-order it now. Um, there's a lot of free goodies that you get uh, when you pre-order. So you want to pre-order it. Um, Go to three hours a day.com. Well, here's a here's a story I want to share with you. So my my editor, uh Cheryl Segura, Segura, uh, over at McGraw Hill, um, I'm talking to her about okay, I already turned in the manuscript, everything's moving along. Um, I talked to the marketing team, the marketing department about um exactly, you know, what all the marketing plan, the publicity, everything for the book. And so then I'm like, okay, well, let's talk about the audio book, the audible. How many of y'all like audio books? Do you like audio books? I know I like them. I, you know, they save me time. I didn't like them at first, but over time I've gotten to where I do, I do enjoy a, an, an audio book. So I said, how about the audio book? They said, well, um, if you want to uh, read the audio book that we, we've got professional people that do that, but if you want to read the audio book, uh, we'll let you audition for it. Okay. I'm like, I got an audition from my, you know, right away the ego came up. Like, what you talk, man, you, we, y'all know who this is. You're going to make me audition. They're like, yeah, you got to, you have to submit a five minute uh, uh, snippet of you reading, you know, the book. And uh, okay. Yeah. Tony said, love audio books. Me too. So I'm like, first, first of all, I was upset. I mean, not really upset, but I, I was a little bit tweaked. Um, cause the ego was like, man, come on, man. What y'all, what do you, what y'all think? So then I was like, okay, I, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'll bust it out. It took me first week. Didn't do it. Second week. Didn't do it. Going on the third week. I'm like, why am I not doing this? And what I realized was that there was a lot of fear around it. And the fear came up. It, by the way, it took me two hours to record a five minute. <laughs> Some of you guys are tracking with me. You know what I'm talking about? And, and what happened now, if it was, um, if it was me just going in the studio and just knocking out something like that, um, I felt I feel like I would have been more comfortable. But because I was actually auditioning, it was there was more pressure to it. Like it was like, uh, man, the fear of rejection came very heavy. And this is this goes back to childhood. You know, are they going to accept me? Am I going to be liked? Um, are they going to are they going to accept? Is it good enough? You know, mom, do you like it? No, boy, I, that, that's terrible. You know, it goes back to childhood. So I was like, man, why is this coming up? And, and, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I've dealt with all this already. Why do I still have feelings of inadequacy, uh, feelings of, uh, thank you, Tammy. You, you, you're doing your thing. I appreciate it. you got me. I appreciate you. Um, 
we had a few people in the waiting room and Tammy, Tammy's helping me out today. So, um, so, so it, it's just a lesson that, you know, yes, I am the business healer, but every single day, the business healer needs a healing. And, uh, and, and I didn't even really realize what the reason was, I, but I started thinking about it. I was like, what, what's happening here? And it was just that it was, uh, it, I, I was scared to death to do a five minute audition of my own book. Okay. Is that not ridiculous? But um, I just want to tell you, you know, when procrastination, this is the message that I want to get to you. When you procrastinate, how, how many, raise your hand if you have, have ever procrastinated. <laughs> you know, every hand is up. Now, um, some of us are frequent procrastinators. What do you think procrastination is? I see your hand, Precious. What do you think uh, procrastination is? Why do you think you procrastinate? Throw it in the chat. I want to I want to see. I've got my own theory around this, but I want to see why do you think that you procrastinate? I'm going to help you with this, I think. Um as I'm healing, you know, uh I want us all to heal together. So, um Tammy says I don't want to do it. I do not want to do it. Right. Right. Who else? What 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 makes us procrastinate? Fear of rejection. Yeah. Yep. Uh, fear of the unknown. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I'm not going to get started on something. I don't know, know what I'm doing. That's precious as that. Fear of the unknown. Uh, Barbara said fear of rejection. Yep. So here's what I've noticed about procrastination. You can keep putting it in the chat. Here's what I've noticed. Procrastination is typically one of two things. Okay. One of two things. The first thing that procrastination could be and I learned this by um, in a book called Who Not How, Who Not How. Um, uh, procrastination is a sign that you shouldn't be doing it. Let me say it again. Procrastination is a sign that you shouldn't be doing it. That That's one reason for procrastination, not the only reason, one reason. In other words, you're procrastinating to do your paperwork. Well, you shouldn't be doing paperwork. <laughs> that's just a sign that that's not something you should be doing anyway. Okay. Uh, you're procrastinating about, you know, whatever it might be. It's, it could be a sign that that's that. And, and really for you to really enjoy the three hour day that I like three hours a day, like I enjoy, you have to start delegating. You have to start getting other people to do the work. And um, instead of ask, instead of saying, I can't afford it, you, the question becomes, how can I afford it? Okay. Um, fear that I'm not good enough, Michelle says. Yeah, procrastination. So, so it's a, it, it could be a sign that it's something you shouldn't be doing anyway. It's outside your wheelhouse. You shouldn't be messing with it. Um, the second re reason that I think that we procrastinate, the big reason is, um, ag again, it goes along with, with, with everything we're saying. But I think that, and this is paradoxical, I think that when we procrastinate, it's actually something that we, that we're called to do, like we're afraid of our greatness, like um, stepping up into leadership, going and taking that speaking engagement, um, running that particular group or expanding your team or whatever it might be. Um, we procrastinate on doing the things that will move us from good to great because there is greatness within us that we actually fear, that I actually fear. There is a, a beast you know, you like you want to unleash the Kraken. It's like, oh, no, I don't want to see that because there is a beast um, in a good way, an angel, you could say, a mighty uh, 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 angel with, you know, a big, mighty um, person within each of us that that's ready to do big deeds, big things. And um, and of course, we're afraid of stepping into that role and being who we came here to be. And that's another reason for procrastination. So it could be that, hey, you shouldn't be doing it or you really, you should be doing it. <laughs> See how paradoxical that is. And that's why you have to use, you, you, it's required that you have intuition. You have to have intuition. And intuition is the ability to, to see a thing from, from your mind's eye. Okay, from your mind's eye to really see, and this is this is a, a gift. Discernment is is a gift of, of the Holy Spirit. Okay, we have to understand um, 
what it is that we're here to do and do that. And also, also what goes with that? What are we here to do? And what am I here to not do? Okay. Because again, when you understand what you're here to do, it crystallizes everything that you're not here to do. And the cool thing about that is now you know what to say no to, right, Tammy? You're like, uh, somebody says, hey, could you do? Nope. Could, could you do that? Nope. Can you help me with this? Nope. Can you do this? Yeah, I'll do that. Because now that's in my wheelhouse. That And the, and the shiny object, object syndrome of, of chasing these objects completely goes away. And that's not the, the, the that's not the, uh, you're no longer living in that space. So hopefully that helped you. Um, it's something that I came to realize this week. And uh, I, I want to help you on the journey as I'm taking the journey. So with that, I would like to um, move on to our guest today. Tammy. Tammy is in the house. Tammy is a rock star, rock, rock, rock star agent. And um, Tammy was formerly, actually, you you sent me a little clip, Tammy. Um, I don't think it does you justice um, <laughs> at all. I procrastinated. <laughs> I don't I think it wanna, does you justice. I didn't want to get, I, it's hard for me to write something about myself. Yeah, we're, it, it's, it's, uh, so, so Tammy wrote that, you know, she's been in real estate for six years, continues to increase her production year over year. Um, she loves sellers, but we'll take a buyer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> um, and then she's, she's actually created a, what I love about Tammy is she, cre she's created a rhythm, a, a sort of a, she calls it a daily cadence to how she actually gets things done and make sure that things actually get done. Um, she's a master of, of consistency yeah. of time on the task over time. And, um, you used to be, you were, were you a nurse before I, Tammy? Yeah, it, I was a registered okay. nurse registered nurse and now she makes a crap ton more money I do. than she did nursing. I do. Um, she, she sent me a text uh, not too long ago. She was like, Hey, I got 22 listings right now at, you know, on the market. And, um, and of course, you know, listings are not moving as fast, but when you are the, when you are the, when you list, you are the queen, when you list, when you're in charge of the inventory, you're the king of the market. Okay. doesn't matter. Let them stack up. It's okay. Um, and then a, a, she was a little concerned that some of them weren't moving. And then I think shortly after that, she was like, hey, I got four or five under contract or something like that. And and so what I what I thought was, you know, Tammy is having so many wins. She's she's a multi-time icon agent um here at EXP in our group, in our revenue share group. And I said, let me let me bring Tammy in because, and the, by the way, this is the first time I've actually brought one of our leadership team in, Tammy. Uh, I don't know well, if you know this, I didn't know um, that. but I really appreciate what you've done. Um, you have stood out as a leader. Um, you're also a peacemaker <laughs> and you, and you do all kinds of things to, to, to really help people. Um, and you, and you take charge, you just take charge. So with that, let's, let's bring you into the conversation and how are you? How are you doing today? Are you cold? I'm very cold. Yes. <laughs> I think I've been sitting here. I just bumped my heater up to about 74, which I'm sure I'm overpowering the grid. I'm sorry, but I'm so cold. <laughs> I've not been outside of the house since Monday. Yeah, Monday. Um, what I did learn in Texas, and I guess the whole world is kind of freezing in the United States. Nobody's working. So I've gotten so much stuff done because <laughs> my phone's not ringing. So it's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's sometimes it's good to have, especially when you are busy, yeah. when you're not so busy, it's not so fun to not have that phone ring. Um, but when you are busy, it's, it's kind of fun to have, you know, it's refreshing, especially when you have a pipeline. This is so critical. Write it down, guys. Pipeline, pipeline. That's what Tammy has developed. That's what she's built. Yeah. And uh, she's going to share with us how she's doing it. Um, you know, what's happening in her business. Um, how, how in the world, I mean, like, there's no, nobody selling houses anymore. How are you, <laughs> you know, what are and, you doing? So that, that's think, what we're going to talk about. I think that's all false, guys. <laughs> that is all false. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I mean, uh, yes, I'm a rock star real estate agent. Uh, I don't do a three hour work day. I'm trying to get there, but I, I just, I can't, I can't do it yet. Sometimes at six, seven o'clock at night, I'm like, turn it off, just turn it off. Yep. But I mean, I've got, um, I have been in ministry for over 24 years, so bivocational. 
Um, I love Jesus. Like Amen. my daily, you know, we talked about daily cadences and part cadence is the word that God gave me this year. It's a cadence. It's a rhythm. It's a walk. And I'll tell you, I get up in the morning and my downline, I got 14 in my downline. I had an audacious hairy goal at 22 last year and 22. It did not happen. I don't care. We're going to keep working for that. But I get up every morning and I start my morning off with prayer and just speaking declarations over my team, over my upline, over mentorship, mentorship masters, just speaking, just declarations over everybody, not myself, everybody else. Um, I think, Nolly, when you said I'm a leader, I've always been a leader from the time I was a little bitty. I mean, everybody else was going to Sunday school and I was in the nursery taking holding the babies and teaching them about Jesus, you know. And then I went into the military. And so I had to get out of this little small town I live in. So I joined the Navy and went to war. I was in the uh, Desert Storm, Desert Shield, and a few other operations. Mm, Wow. And then from there, came back and did my lifelong dream and became a nurse. And ended up started it. I've always started at the bottom when I work up. I don't do anything. I don't do anything easy where I just go straight to the top. But I was in management within... Um, I think I was like in my, like 29 years old, I was in management already. And, um, I remember I'd see patients and they would say, are you even old enough? Um, (laughs) so I retired out of nursing in 2016 and came into real estate. Um, I'm from a family of brokers. It's like in our blood. Um, I love land. I love oil. Like there's all these things I love. And so I've got a very diverse background. And I think that's kind of what helps me. It helps my my motivation and my drive. Um, and the cool thing is uh, I'm under Will, Will Gilliam, Will and Deb, Deb. And he was actually my broker prior to coming to here. I, I never even interviewed another broker. I went straight with Will. And then when I saw the model explained, I was like, there's a whole story behind that, but I came straight over to EXP. Love it. Love it. So, so I, I know you wanted to share, you wanted to share some things first, right? Before we yeah. got into sort of a Q and a mode. Yeah. Um, and, and we're really kind of loose today, guys. Uh, you know, I, I want you, I want you to understand that there are people that are really, really doing it. And, um, and I'm going to start bringing those to you uh, maybe once a month um, on, on a cadence, sort of like that. Um, where you can see, okay, what are, you know, Uncle Nolly keeps talking about that we can succeed. So, but let's talk to some people that are actually winning, yeah. actually succeeding. Um, so let's, let's move it over to you, Tammy. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, so guys, I'm, I'm a listing agent. I love to list properties. And like I said, I'll take a buyer. In fact, I'm writing a contract on one today, full price cash offer in the eyes. I mean, he's been looking for a property for a year and a half. So for a year and a half, every month, I let him know what you want is not out here. Well, boom, it popped up. And I said, here's what you wanted. He called, he argued the price. I said, listen, you had very specific in this neighborhood. I know, just write the cash offer. Let's get it done. Okay. But that's a year and a half. Um, I was told early on in my real estate career, don't drip on people that long. Some of my sellers, some of my buyers, I have been dripping on them for three plus years. I don't give up on them. And um, so we have a daily thing with our whole team. Our whole team is invited to what's called, we call it an accountability call. Something that Nolly and um, and Kevin actually taught me last year was, Tiny hinges swing big doors. What that means is little things done on a consistent basis builds up over time and it creates business. And so every day we start off our whole team. You can come in if you want. You don't have to. Starts at 845 in the morning and we give two commitments for the day. And these are, I'm committing to you. I'm going to do it. And if I don't do it, I'm going to tell you why. It's not to do the list. We've all got our to-do list. We can, our to-do list can be this long, but these are intentional things that build business. And I have to remind them over and over that is a to-do list to get that deal done. I want to know what are you doing to bring in more business? Because that, that contract you wrote today pays out in 45 days. If you don't keep doing this, you're going to be broke at some point. You're going to be out of money. 
So and it, it's a really cool time that we, I mean, it's real fast. It's a 15 minute call. We kind of carry over. We have coffee together and stuff. And then we go about our day. But I think that Nolly has been probably the one of the most beneficial things that we have done as a team because in my revenue share, I see about I see a lot of people's revenue shares go up and down like their peeps, they go up and down. And what I committed to was I'm slowly going to invest into the people under me. I'm going to train them. I'm going to make sure that um, I am pouring into them on a daily basis. I'm going to be a support to them to where they no longer need me. Like will I call Will occasionally? I'll be like, I got to talk this out, but I don't. But the, most of the time, he doesn't hear from me. We're just checking on each other occasionally. But I want to get to the point to where my people feel the same way, and they can do that. This just becomes who they are. They're just doing it. They're just doing it because the bottom line is, why do we all get into real estate? We got into real estate to make money. Let's be real. At the end of the day, it's about the dollars in the bank. So, so these little things, but one thing that we've implemented and I'm very big on, and that is video, video, video. Um, and the reason why is when I'll never, when I first met Nolly, now I didn't meet Nolly till I don't, Nolly, I don't think we really met till like a year and a half. I was actually in EXP because I live between two states. And, but when I would watch his stuff in the portal, he's like, be the mayor of your town. Guys, I was the mayor of my town before EXP even came into my life, <laughs> you know, because I love to give back to my community. I've been here for a very long time. I love to pour into people. Uh, I'm huge. If you have a child and you're, you're in, you know, they have something with the school that I'm one of the first people they come to because I believe that you have to pour back into your community. So I tell my team all the time, where are you volunteering? Where are you giving back? Um, and, and, you know, it's kind of hard to get outside of your box of an eight hour work day or three hours for some, you know, it's hard to get out of that because we get so stuck in doing, doing, doing. But the thing is, to be the mayor of your town and to get referrals and to be the one that has all the knowledge, you've got to truly be in your community. And so where are you volunteering at? That's the first question I'd ask you. If you're not giving back to the area you're trying to, to dominate, then you're going to fall short and you're going to fall below the person that is giving back. So that's one thing, you know, uh, so we talked about the commitments. We've talked about, you know, the intentions of moving forward. Video is very important. So when I we go volunteer at the same time on our off time, you know, doing those 10 video text messages, take that down, guys, 10 video text messages a day. So I'm just video text messaging someone. I'm not selling them anything. I'm not doing anything but just checking on them. And so right now, I tell the team, what better opportunity? We've been iced in for days. Check on some people. Just see how they're doing. I mean, th that that's set, that's a lot when you do that for, for others, you know, and you check on them. They're like, hey, how are you? I had to quit working that system because they're like, I, I need you to sell my house. And then I had too much work and I had to slow down. So that one comes and goes for me. Um, but that's a daily thing. 10 video text messages a day. Farming. Okay. Good old piece of paper and a pen. And I'm telling y'all, my letterhead, we, <laughs> it's a joke. It's, it's been a joke in, around our area. The joke was made. If your picture's on something, what do you think? You're a neurosurgeon? No, I think I'm better than a neurosurgeon. I'm their agent. So my husband's picture and my picture and Nolly has a training in our ministry masters that talks about branding and the same picture has to be everywhere. It's part of branding. And so I, while well, everybody else is going, it's such a bad market. It's so slow. We are just throwing things out there just over and over with our picture on it. And I'm getting text messages going, you are killing it. And we, we are probably killing it compared to what some are. I do get that. We live in an area that probably hasn't been a, as affected as other areas. Everybody wants to live in this part of Texas. But the thing is, is that the more I show that we are present and that we are doing something, that makes it, that shows that the market's not as dead as the media makes it to be. There truly is. I got somebody, y'all ready for this? I got somebody in a home loan that we're closing in two weeks, in a week, two weeks, probably a week, 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 in a week. 
at a 4.75% interest rate. Wow. So that's the next thing. What are your pillars in your business? Pillars in your business means do you, who is your lender that can get this done? Who is your go-to five to six inspectors because you don't want to be sued? that can can inspect on the on it really fast so you can get quick options because the faster you can get an option you can knock it you can knock a buyer down thirty thousand sometimes because you can get the deal done quicker so who is your title company like i look at these pillars and you look at a house so my business is a house but what are my pillars in my house that support me and make me look good and get me where i need to be and I'm going to tell y'all, my title company, I, I fight to get my title company because they will order my home warranties. They will order my surveys. Like they take my file and they almost become an unpaid assistant for me. And they ha- and so when I send them something and say, I need re- deed restrictions for this area and not even have a contract there, they have them to me so fast. And if I say, hey, can you do a closing for me on a Saturday in my office? Yes, I will do a closing for you Saturday in your office. So it's having those people. My lender, like she's intense. And I found her because we have this, I'll tell you about the AHA club, but I found her and I brought her, they brought her in and she talked to us and spoke. And I mean, we just hit it off and her aggression and not in a negative way, just her just Mm, she's going to get the yeah, interest yeah. rate. Yeah. I was like, I need you on my team and we are knocking things out. I mean, she's got seven people. She's working on prequels for us that I know those seven people are still six months out, but she's the one handling it. She's getting their credit score up. She's training them. So I have all these key people in these places. So things move smoothly. The second thing, or the third, fourth, whatever one, Nolly got on to me at <laughs> at EXP Con, and I and I deserved it. I did. So I am a Type A personality, very high energy. Um, I'm very much everything has to be perfection. I do not like anything outside of perfection to a default. And uh, he's like, "What do you mean you're doing your own paperwork?" And I'm like, "Well." can't find the right person to do it. And I'm telling him all this stuff. I've taken his classes. I've got the SOPs. I've got it all. I'm like, I just can't find anybody to do it. Can't do it. You want to know what the problem was? Tammy was the problem. Tammy's issue was A, I didn't want to give up any of my commissions. That's the first thing. B, I didn't want to give up any of my commissions. (laughs) And C, I wanted it to be really perfect. And I was afraid that I would lose that personal touch. And so what I, what, and what I'd had a couple bad situations with transaction coordinators and it was contract to close. Well, once I got the contract, I'm so tight knit as an RN, we're used to doing a hundred pages of, of uh, paperwork for each patient just to admit them. So a contract, I do everything at one time. So I was just handing it to them. I'm like, I'm paying you a hundred dollars, put it in my sky slope. I can do that while I'm eating dinner. And so I started doing it while I was eating dinner. And it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun at all. And I finally said to someone, I need a real estate agent that doesn't want to sell real estate. That's what I need. I need somebody that I can hand to them a piece of paper written out of everything I need on that contract and just send to them. And they handle my contracts. I don't, I don't, I don't top another contract for as long as I live. And they have to be able to do one at seven o'clock at night if it's on the weekends. I mean, now I'm not going to be a slave driver, obviously, because that's not my personality. Well, it is. I mean, if it needs to be done, they said they'll do it. But if we can hold off in this market, it's kind of nice. You can hold off the next day. So I hired a transaction coordinator and she actually is a transaction manager. I'm paying her big money, big money. Actually, it's not that much money in the grand scheme of things, but she gets paid at closing because EXP allows that. And if they are a realtor, you can put them in as a transaction coordinator and that it'll get pulled out of my proceeds at closing to pay her. So, and she actually, I'll tell you, she has done some things that I couldn't do because I didn't have the bandwidth anymore to do it. Right. And really that. nurturing my clients. Now I still have total control. So we have group text messages with all of our clients. If she doesn't respond quick enough, because I don't expect her to respond at eight, eight, nine o'clock at night. I don't even respond sometimes, but if I need to, I will. 
And that's been really beneficial. And, and the reason why that part's beneficial is, is it is, I realized I'm sitting here spending five hours a day doing paperwork, five hours a day inputting listings. So if I get one listing, um, it always goes in our primary, but it also goes in the, in the area that it's in. Well, where we sit at, Austin's here, we're here, and we have a separate MLS, but this is so rural we go all the way here, which is four MLSs. So sometimes we, if we get a listing over in Lampasas or, or, or Copper's Cove or Harker Heights, I need to be in Central Texas. I also need to be in Paragon. And we all know we also have to be in Abor. So I'm multi-putting into many listings and she's willing to do that for me now. So I'm not getting bogged down in the paperwork part. And what happens then it frees you up to do more lead generation. So right. I will right. say, guys, lead generation is something that every day you should be doing no matter what. No matter what, that should be something that you time block out at least an hour a day, if not more, to lead generate. And what you lead generate is what you're going to get. If you're lead generating empty lots, you're going to get empty $35,000 lots. If you're lead generating uh, lake homes, you're going to start getting yeah. million dollar yeah. lake homes. And yeah. one of the things I started doing was I go down to, I live on the water. So I get at the water and I do a market report and I talk about how many houses are on the water, how many sold last month, what is the value on them, how many days to closing. I give some information and then I say, I do a call to action. If you are looking for a lake house, call me. What better person than me on the lake? And then I put that on my social media and I put it on my new YouTube channel. Still learning that, but we're getting there. I get it there. It's out there because whatever you're lead generating, you are eventually going to get those. So I tell people all the time, do you really want trailer houses? Guys, I was the queen of trailer houses. Will would just hand them to me. And I'm like, you're so sweet. <laughs> I did those for I did those for years too, and I know, you know I would take anything. I and that's me. I will take anything. I will take anything. But you also have to be careful because what ends up happening. I had a client call the other day, and she's like, "I know you're like LBJ agent. My house is on Lake Buchanan. I don't know that you can do this." I was like, "Whoa, that's five minutes away. I fish that lake all the time." So I pigeonholed myself into one lake, and I'm like, "I knew this was going to come." So, you know, it was time to expand the brand a little bit more. I did get the Lake Buchanan listing. We were in, under contract in seven days, uh, three days, actually. It was perfect. Wow. wow. So, so if you're marketing, if you're marketing yourself on social media as a buyer's agent, you're going to get buyers. And I have people, That's all right. about, but, That's right. I, but I'm a buyer's agent. How do I get listings? Go preview homes. Ask the agent, can I come preview this home? Do you mind if I take a video and do you mind if I put it on social media? I mean, why not yeah. farm yeah. your own? How many people are farming your own neighborhood? How many people are doing handwritten letters? And when I say, <laughs> when I say hand, let me show you all this. When they get a letter from me, they know who I am. And they see that pretty face. Look at him. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Gorgeous. Both of them. <laughs> yeah. And, but that's what they get. So they see that face all the time. So, I mean, that's my, that's kind of where I come from guys is lead generate, literally figure out ways, text messaging, calling, checking on people, doing video on Facebook. And the other thing is, and I've heard this from some top, top agents and they'll say, don't do it on your personal, do it on your business. I disagree. I disagree. And I'll tell you why I have almost 3000, close to 3000 followers. When I looked on my personal page. I got 800 on my business. Nobody looking at my business. Unless you're paying for ads, it falls down in the algorithms. Mm -hmm. If you post it yeah. on your business, share it to your personal. So they see that you're a realtor. But do, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Barbara's right. Do, don't be afraid to do it on your personal. And I have heard people say, I can't get anything. And I see them in our forums on Workplace. I don't get anything. I can't sell nothing. And I'll come in and go, because you're a secret agent. I cannot even tell looking at your social media that you're a real estate agent. Nothing on there says you're a real estate agent. Yeah. I have yeah. had, I have lost, listen, 
I have lost listings because they forgot I was a real estate agent. That is the worst feeling in the world. And you're like, dude, you're my mother. No, I'm just joking. (laughs) Don't, Don't be a secret agent. You truly want people to know if your business page isn't linked to your personal page, if that you don't have a phone number in every post that you put, if they have to go searching for you to find you, they're not going to search. They're not mm-hmm. going to search. They're just not. No. People are lazy. They're doing this yeah. at yeah. night. So you got to make it as easy for them as possible. And I use my husband all the time. I video that man and we make fun of him because if you knew him, we are as different as night and day. He can take a one syllable word, make it into four. <laughs> the most precious human being in the world. He is the best buyer's agent in the world because he has so much patience. And so I just video him. He walked in one day and I was like, he's like, can you airdrop me a contract contact? And I was like, wait, airdrop you. I was like, hold on a second. We're going to make a reel. <laughs> We're up to like 10,000 views now. And I have gotten referrals off of that reel. <laughs> that's, that's wild. That's wild. This is, this is really incredible because, um, you know, you, 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 you sound like me. It's like, like I, I'm just listening to myself, you know, with, <laughs> with all these tips and everything, but it's always refreshing to hear it from someone else that's actually doing it. And it's, and it works. I mean, it just works. Um, so, so I want to, uh, did you have anything else to add? Cause I do yeah, want to comment. Ask, I do yeah, have ahead. one go more ahead. thing sure. to add. Uh, the other thing, and, and I tell my, I tell my team this all the time is, <laughs> Kevin and Fred have a production class on Tuesday. Guys, I'm here to tell y'all, we all have access to that. That is one of the best masterminds. You don't have to leave the comforts of your desk. You can lay in bed and watch it. I... And I, I'm tell I have I think I'm up to 19 listings right now. I think I'm back down. I'm at, I'm at 19 because we picked up two this week in the ice. They called us just list our place. One, one's in Brownwood. One's in Dublin. Uh, the thing is, is that what I'm telling y'all is I don't need to go there. Probably. I probably don't. That would be my arrogance. My arrogance would be my pride would be, I don't need that. I got this going. I'm here to tell y'all every Tuesday, I learn something. I learn something. And, and it's, it's these little bitty nuggets. You can't do everything, but you can take some of those nuggets and implement them into your business and consistently do that until it starts making you money and until you've mastered it to where it's now just a normal cadence and then you can learn something else. So I find, I find not only most people that aren't meeting production, they're hanging on the coattail. I mean, I don't mean to be ugly about this or rude, but they're hanging on the coattails of somebody above them and not putting their own effort into it to learn Mm. and to be better. I truly, I truly find that. Sure. Yeah. That Tuesday mastermind is fire. And you know, yeah. those of you in Mentorship Masters um, or you're in Kevin and Fred's group, you every Monday we do an agent attraction. That's mm-hmm. for those that want to continue to grow their, their organization. That's on Wednesdays now. Yeah. Wait. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Scratch that. So Tuesdays we do the production. That's a production class. W- uh, Wednesdays is agent attraction. And then Thursdays with me is really mindset. That that's really what that's my main thing. My core of what I teach is how to outthink yourself yeah. and think differently. And this is this is kind of where Tammy was living with when you're talking about. Uh, and there's so many things you that I want to comment on and, and bring up. Um, you were talking about the whole concept of uh, not you know doing your own paperwork because the paper because of your personality profile paperwork is not a big deal. Like it, it's, it really truly isn't when you look at, but when you, when you're talking about high volume, now think about this for a minute, for 10 years in a row, I did an average of 10 deals a month. I did that for 10 years in a row. So all I can think is high volume. Okay. So when you're doing production that in that, at that, in that zone, um, you can't, you can't do all these things and be effective and, and still take nights and weekends off, which I did for 10 years. Take, uh, I, I didn't work nights and weekends. I never worked a Friday. Okay. I worked four days a week and I sold over a hundred homes a year. Uh, and I did that for 10 years in a row. I did that. And, but you, you have to be system, systematized and you can't take it on. Even if you're better than the person that you hire at it, sure. you can't do it. You can't do it. And so that's what I was wanting to get across to you. I'm glad you, yeah. you listened 
No, I um, knew it. I knew it. I was like, Nolly's right. I mean, I've been telling myself this. Nolly's right. And, and really, it, it comes back to mind share because it's just having that thing in the back of your mind. You're at a movie. You're going out to to dinner, and you're thinking, "Crap, I got to input that 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 prop." It's been it's been like two days, and I haven't input it. You know, it, it's 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 really kind of taken away. It's robbing the quality of the rest of the things that you do. And now, how do you feel not even having that on your plate? How does it feel? Oh, man, I really see a light at the end of the tunnel. Like I set big audacious goals at the beginning of the year. And I realized like at the beginning of January, I'm not going to meet these if I keep doing. And so all night when I went to bed and I'm going to tell you all a story. And I mean, this is bad. I had a listing contract to write that took me 10 days to write it because I didn't want to do it. I was so tired of paperwork. I just needed a nap. I just wanted a nap. Mm. And I finally called. and I was like, listen, I just things are a little, just give me a little bit more time. We'll get that listing contract gone. I was like, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm hiring somebody. <laughs> Procrastination. Now, Remember we talked um, about it. That just, one of, one of it. the, yeah, 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 yeah. But and you now, shouldn't be doing it. And I yeah. love how you said mindshare because the things that we don't tackle and we don't handle, they sit here in the back of our head and it, they rob our lunch, our, our dinners with our spouses. They, our vacations, they rob, everything. They yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. So let's talk about a couple of things because you mentioned, so, and thank you so much. Um, put it in the chat, show some love, show some love for Tammy because she broke down what she's doing. It's very simple, um, but show her some love because- um, you really, really, you're bringing it. You have 19 listings right now. What kind of closings are you doing? Um, how's that looking? Um, let's see. I've got, I closed four last month. I've got one, two, three, four, four this month. And we're writing an offer for one. So that's the next thing. Guys, know your numbers. Know yeah. your numbers. Like I know that I reset October 1st. I capped by the 15th of October. I am at 6.165 million so far this year. I've got, after all of these get closed, I need three more deals and an icon. Woo! I so wait, wait a minute. You, you, it took you just a few weeks to cap. Is that what you just said? Yeah. It took me, it took me two and a half weeks to cap. Yeah. My goodness. So what she just said, guys, and if it just went, went over you like that, she made almost a hundred thousand dollars in commission GCI, um, over 80,000 in GCI in two weeks in two weeks. Should we be listening to Tammy? Yes. <laughs> and you're getting a lot of love. You're getting a lot of love over here in the chat. So oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for coming here. Cause you're not, you're not coming here in a, in a way like, Hey, I'm bragging. I'm telling you what I'm doing. No. You suck. If you're not doing this. No, no, it's not just, at all. You, you were a registered nurse. You got in this, in, into this business, not really knowing if, if you could do it, you know, f to a large degree. I mean, you probably had confidence oh, that you could. No, I didn't. I'll I had none. I had none. And I'm the most confident person in the world. <laughs> so I'm humble and I'm confident. I left a six figure income that had a company car. I had a credit card that I flew all over Texas all the time. I could go anywhere I wanted to 16 different offices. I walked away from a lot. I was the main breadwinner in our family. I really, my mom got really sick is what happened. And I had been working on my real estate license. This is what I wanted to do. She got really sick. And all I know, I, I was just praying and I was like, I'm losing her. I'm losing her. And she got sick at a very young age and mm -hmm. I didn't want any regrets. I didn't want any regrets. I knew I had to be back home with her. I couldn't be traveling all over. My kids, my kid, my last kid at home was tired of me traveling. And so when I say I walked away, guys, let me tell you who the best real estate agents are, the ones that are hungry. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah. have a choice yeah. but to succeed. I, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> Nothing to fall back on. That's right. You, you went out and did it. So so I got to I want to unpack a few things. So um First, one of the things that you said is, you know, what you sow is what you shall also reap. What you sow is what you reap. If you're out there talking about, hey, here's what the interest rates are, and here's how you, um, here's the first time home buyer programs, and here's it, guess what you're going to attract? First time home buyers. Okay. Right. Who takes the most amount of work? First time home buyers. And so when you're marketing, and, and this is, this is something that I've shared with you. Uh, before is that I've never one time, not in my entire career, have I ever marketed for a buyer. You'll never find it. I've got lots of marketing, the old marketing that you'll find. You can dig it up, pull it up. You'll never, ever, ever 
ever, I, this, this is my 20th year in real estate. You'll never, ever one time find an advertisement where I've marketed for buyers ever. Okay. Now I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying that I, I went fishing with the bait that I needed to catch the kind of fish that I wanted to catch. Okay. So all my ads, all of them from the very, from the beginning, from day one was thinking about selling your home, question mark, list with Nolly, uh, selling less time, get more money, free consultation. That was my marketing. And that went everywhere. And it was always uh, sellers, sellers, sellers. So, so watch how you're messaging, how, watch how you're presenting yourself. And if that's what you want to get, that's fine. If, it, that's, if that's what you want is first time home buyers. Um, but you, you also might want to sort of double check yourself. And why do you want to work? Oh, I just love helping people. I like what working with the underdog. I like working with, well, there's a lot of categories of people you could work with that don't necessarily have to require that amount of work. Okay. So that, so you said that I, th- I thought that was really good video. You talked about video. So were, were you apprehensive to do video at first or was it just like, no problem? Uh, let's oh, go into it. Yeah, I have a, I have, I'm just like, you Nolly. I love a good camera. The first time I was on camera, I think I was six years old, milking a goat at a fall at a state <laughs> fair somewhere <laughs> news. I yeah. bought, Camera doesn't bother me. I mean, I, I'm a public speaker by heart. You know, I love to pre- preach and teach. And so yeah. I'm, I, I'm not apprehensive. I'm not at all. And, I'm, and I tell my people all the time, you want to know what the, the, the worst video in the world is? The one you never do that you don't the do. The one you never do. That's right. Nobody cares. No one cares. You yeah, got You yeah. have a fan base. Everybody just wants to see you, sure. and you have haters. I love the haters. The haters boost my algorithm. <laughs> yeah, you got haters around there because you know. Let's let's face it. You're in a small community. Yeah. Um, you're doing big things in a small pond, and and that can bring the haters out for sure. Yeah, um, you talked nice. about this. You, you talked about this ten video text messages a day. Yep. Now, that's something that probably takes about fifteen minutes to do per yep. day. Um, mm-hmm. It's a super simple rhythm, um, it, but that's been very successful for you. Yeah, just right? do you have, yeah. This right here, guys. Everybody's like, I don't have any leads. Everybody, <laughs> get your phone and open up your contacts. How many contacts yeah. you got? You got all the leads in the world. Yeah. And so I just start, I, I occasionally will start in the A's and just start working down put where I'm at and just keep, and it's just like, Hey, I may look them up on Facebook and just see what's going on in their lives and kind of send them a video message, just being there. And you have to slow, you'll realize real quick, you have to stop. Another thing that our team does is um, find 12 people, 12 of your closest friends, or even like, um, your lender, your whoever, call them and ask them to give you two referrals to buy or sell for the next year. Just ask them to get, hook you up with yep. two referrals. That's yep. 24 referrals. Yep. Yeah. Get 20, that commitment. That's Absolutely. 24 referrals. Can y'all do 24 deals? That's just, that's awesome. It's that's incredible. Awesome. It's incredible. Yeah. So, so let me, let me, um, when you talk about and I'm going to, I'm going to up, I'm going to help you with, can I help you with an upgrade? Tammy, do I have your permission? Yeah, let's, let's okay. upgrade this. So let's, let's talk about this three hours a day because essentially you're already doing everything that I did to be highly successful. Okay. Um, the only thing that I did differently. Okay. The only thing that I did differently than what you're describing, because you're knocking it out of the park was I, I focused on just two things in my business, just two things. Okay. So I lead generated in the morning for about an, our, really, if you're doing it like the way Tammy's teaching, it only takes 90 minutes, but I teach do the two. Yeah. If you were listening to Gary Keller, he teaches three hours of lead generation a day. It doesn't take that long, guys. It doesn't take three hours. If you're doing it consistently every day, you're going to be like Tammy, like, hold on a minute. I got to I gotta slow down here. And what I teach, though, is never take your foot off the lead generation pedal. Yeah. That's That will drive you nuts. Never take your foot off the lead generation pedal. Here's how you do it. You, you're doing 90 minutes in the morning of lead generation and you're going on one appointment a day. You're not doing anything else. One listing appointment a day. Everything else is done by someone else. What that means is as soon as you go to the listing, you actually take the listing, you got the listing paperwork, you throw it over your shoulder and you're done. You don't do anything else on that property at all. So you generated the lead. 
you took the listing. Okay. And, uh, and then, and, and that's it. That's it. You generate, you generate the lead and, uh, now you can, so, so it's going on appointments. Okay. Generate the lead, go on appointments, generate the lead, go on appointments. Now I got it to the point, Tammy, where I didn't go on appointments anymore. Why? Because I was like you, I was like, this is getting crazy. I, you know, I took 21 listings in one week, one time, seven days. Okay. In a seven day period. Now I got, what I did was I said, how can, cause I don't want to take my foot off the lead generation pedal. I'm, there's no such thing as too much business. Okay. There's no such thing as too much business. Um, and this is how big small businesses get big, get bigger. That's this is how they scale. So I got to the point where I actually hired a gal. Um, she was about five foot two, five foot three, blonde hair, blue eye, beautiful, you know, uh, person. And she would go on every single listing appointment. So what did I do for 90 minutes a day or two hours a day? All I did was generate leads. She went on the appointments. And we did a, uh, she got 30% of her, but all she was doing was doing the presentation. She did the, uh, she didn't do contract to close. I had a person do that. I had another person that did all my front end duties, put up the signs, lock boxes. In other words, when I, when I was on the listing appointment, I wasn't going to walk around the house and, and tell them what to do with the house. I had a person that did that. You yeah. know, all I did was take the listing and they said, well, could we walk around the house? Oh, I'm not good at looking at houses. What do you mean you're not good? You sold over 120 houses last year. Oh, I'm good at selling houses. That's what you're talking about, selling? Yeah, I'm good at that. I'm just not good at looking at them. I've got a gal on my team. She's really good at looking at houses. And she's going to be out here. She can come out here tomorrow, the next day. She'll schedule with you. She'll look at everything. She'll give you, she'll tell you what to paint, what, when we're going to schedule the photo. She does all that. She'll put up. Then I got to have another guy to put up the signs and lock boxes. Okay. Yeah. And he did all that kind of stuff. So, so actually, literally, you can eventually get to the point with a very small team. Um, and, and, and the other thing is, the other thing I was going to share with you is, uh, you're, are you try are you charging a transaction fee per deal? I, I am not. It's <laughs> not. And I'll tell you why. I've heard all of y'all. <laughs> In my area, it's not common, and y'all, we're we're it, very, it's not okay. Let me let me. This we're is a very this is a, small town. I, I understand. Gonna, I understand. I'm not against Will Gilliam a lot. Of time, <laughs> so, about this. so this is this is a self limiting belief, and let me I let know. me let, let me let me share this with you because when I first started selling real estate, I was in Harlingen, Texas. That's where I started. That's where I cut my teeth, and nobody did that. Nobody charged a transaction fee in Harlingen, Texas. But my mentor, he did. And uh, he he taught me how to do it. And it's just like when you you have to understand that when even in your town, your small town, if a new bakery comes in town and it's that bakery. OK, like we had one uh, in Austin, Voodoo Donuts, OK, mm -hmm. for example, um, they it's crazy what they charge for a donut. But I like donuts. OK, now I'm not supposed to like them, but I do. Josie's not around right now. So uh, if I go to Voodoo Donut, I'm paying a crazy amount. I'm paying crazy money for a donut. It's it's just it's stupid. It's just downright dumb with a capital D. Yeah. But that's that's I'm at Voodoo. I'm at this place, or there's another one called Duck Donuts. Um, it's just going to be more. Like donuts are twenty five cents. No, you're paying three dollars a donut. <laughs> oh, you're not. We'll get to the back of the line if you can't make up your mind. So when you when you have a premium service, which is what you have, this is why people are coming to you. All you do, you sit down with them and say, look, because they're already paying you. Let's say you're taking a $600,000 listing. They're already paying you $18,000 okay, on, on, on it. So so you, so you, basically, um, am I doing the math right? Yeah, I think I'm doing, no, $36,000, right? They're doing thirty-six grand. So they're already paying you $36,000. Let's, let's say if you take it for 6%. Now, the, the, tr the transaction fee is just an additional five ninety five. dollars And what I explained to them, I say, hey, have you ever gone to, and in Austin, we have gold theaters. We have a couple other theaters, uh, Alamo, some others. I say, have you ever gone to, have you ever gone to see a movie? They say, yeah, I've been to the movie. Well, have you ever gone to Alamo Draft House or to Gold Theater? Oh yeah, I've been. Uh, no, I never been. Well, I, let me tell you about it. At Gold Theater, you get a blanket. You can order a cheeseburger. Uh, you can have a glass of wine <laughs> with, with your movie. Uh, you can, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's it, the chairs recline. Now these are not recliner chairs. They're like sofa, they're plush type chairs. Okay. Now, do you think it's the same price to go to gold movie, the, the gold theater as it is to Cinemark? No, not at all. Of course not. It's, it's now, are you going to see the same movie? Oh yeah. Yeah. What's the difference? The service that you're getting. 
It's the experience. Yeah. It's the experience. And see what happens here, Tammy, is when you list with me, when you list with the Nolly team, you're getting an experience that's unlike any other. I, I don't charge the same amount as everybody else because I'm not the same. It's like if you were going for a, uh, a, a heart, let's say, God, God forbid, you had some important uh, ailment, like a heart problem. Would you search for the cheapest, cheapest cardiologist in town? Or would you go with uh, that one that really can get it done? You might not go for the most expensive, but that's, that's me. I'm the best. And the reason why I charge a little bit more, not much, but a little bit more is because of here's what I'm going to, here's my menu of services. Boom. And I, I show it to them. And I say, now you're not only going to be getting me, but you're, what's, your, what's the name of your girl, your gal that works with you? Oh, Michelle. Okay. So you're, so listen to me, Mr. Seller, you're not only getting me, but you're also getting Michelle. Both of us are going to be working to, and it's not going to ch- cost you double. You're going to have two people working on at the same time. There you go. Because like right now I'm here with you. And guess what? What would happen if I'm with someone else and somebody calls me with an urgent, they want to see your house. Guess what? I've got somebody handling that for me. So it, it's not going to cost you double. It's just an additional five ninety five. That's it. And by the way, you don't even pay that until we close. So if I don't sell your house, you don't pay me a dime, not even that fee. And I, I, here's what they're going to say, Tammy. No problem. Well, yeah, no problem. It's like that. No problem, because because you they you, you have to and and, it, and what it is you have to explain to a person what they're getting. Right. It's like you're getting two people. I've I've cloned. Just imagine this: you call me because you really like the way I do business, right? You do, don't you? Well, do you be, can you believe that I've cloned myself? Well, what do you mean? Yeah, I've cloned myself, Michelle. Um, I've taught her everything that I do, and she handles this part of the business while I handle that. Now, I've got to pay for her, okay? And the way I do it is I have an admin, an admin fee. It's just like when you go to, uh, you know, your favorite doctor or whatever, you know, there's so, and 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 it's such a small fee, Tammy, that they'll pay it, okay? Now, if you do 40 deals this year, whatever the number is, 50 deals, 40 deals, whatever it is, um, how much is 600 times 40? 24,000, oh, <laughs> See, this becomes another pr- revenue center. Does, th- would that help covering Michelle's fees? Yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And yeah. even even if even if you put Michelle on the settlement statement, getting that amount, okay, and and I don't know what you pay her, but even if you put or, or whatever her amount is, um, it, it, it's it's it, it's like a no brainer. I've never had pushback, and 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 think about it. I've charged this fee over a thousand times. Wow. Over okay. a thousand times. So this is this is just something for you to explore and consider and think about. I can give you more coaching around it. But um, but you want to start if you don't like paying people, which you know, I don't either, then you want to create another revenue center where yes. where you where you get that paid. So that's just a little coaching well, for you. And, and I I think Nolly, something I heard that really stuck with me. We a lot of times as real estate agents don't run our don't run our businesses like true businesses. If you go sure. to the doctor's office, what would you do if the doctor walked out and checked you in and did your blood pressure and all that? You'd be thinking, all right, you know, What's there's some, I know there's somebody at the front desk that takes your phone call. There's somebody that checks you in. There's a nurse, yeah. and you know, and that's what I had to step back and say. I've got to take some of my monies and put it back into the business in these ancillary people that are assisting me to make more money, because that is what I learned a long time ago. When you have somebody help you, your production will increase. Yeah. And what, and if you're already at this level of production, just imagine it frees you up to do more, more deals so that when you, you don't have to take your foot off the lead generation pedal, you can do that extra 10 or 20 or 30 deals a year. And actually you, you work less if you do if you do 40 deals a year, you'll work twice as much as if you do 100. Yeah, okay. that's true. You're right. You are You'll so work right. twice as much. You'll yeah. work twice as much because and and this is how you actually get your life back is once you figured it out, like you've already figured it out. Okay, all that's left for you is to scale. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, you've already figured out how to do it. You you putting four on the board, four, four, four. How do we get that to 10? scale. That's it. You know, just, just scale your business and do less, you know? Um, and so, so that's, that's just something to consider, something to consider what you brought us was fire. I mean, you brought us the heat, um, what we needed. You talked about video, you talked about 
your your morning accountability call um, for like 15 minutes. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Spits on, everybody spits it off and we move on about our day. Yeah. And and listen, if you don't have a team, you can get together three or four of you get together and do this yeah. every morning as yeah. an accountability group and just say, hey, what are you committed to? Okay. And a lot of times they'll they'll come back and say, well, uh, I'm going to check, I'm going to uh, do stuff on the to-do list, right? But you don't let them get away with that, right, Tammy? Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. That. That's, <laughs> that's not a dollar productive activity. And my definition of dollar productive is new money. What's, what yes. new money are you, are you generating, you know, into the business? Um, you talked about um, the video text message. We talked about that. I wanted to share with you about the transaction fee. You don't have to do it, but it's just something to consider. Um, uh, people will gladly pay you to do it. Uh, I guarantee. Um, and then you also talked about this whole concept where you and pe- this blew blew the minds of a lot of people that um, w- when when I used to do this is actually trained my title company how to work for me. Okay, yeah. I trained them how to do that, and people are like, well, title company won't do that. Oh, they won't do that for you. <laughs> they do it for me. And see, this is another thing for you to understand, guys. You're listening to this when you when you're when you're doing four deals a month or two deals a month or three deals a month, you become very valuable, very valuable to your lender, very valuable to your title company. And they'll do all kinds of stuff for you. I've got a, um, I've got a deal right now. I've got one right now with uh, it's, it's an affidavit, affidavit of airship property. It's a probate, but it, there's nine heirs. So my title company, what do they do? They got all the, all of the affidavit of airships cleared. They got all of the uh, AJ's abstracted ju- uh, 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 judgment cleared. They got all of the um, title work cleared on this old, old property, very old property. Um, and they got everything ready. It took them It took them like five months, five months of work before we could even list the house. Okay. And they didn't, I didn't pay them 10 cents to do this. Right. Okay. And, and, and you know what I'm talking about, Tammy, yeah. uh, you have to train them. To because title companies will tell you, oh, well, we don't do that here. Oh, you don't? Oh, <laughs> give me a high five on my way out. Because yeah. I, I, I know there's about five or six other companies that will do what I need, but you have to, you have to be, you have to come in as a boss, like where Tammy's coming from. You got to be doing stuff to 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 get them to do that, reciprocate that way. Um, what are some closing thoughts, Tammy? Anything that that agent right now is struggling, they're like, or even an entrepreneur, a business leader, they're like, Man, she she can do this, but I just I don't know. I don't even know where to get started. I hear yeah. everything sounds good. I don't know. What, yeah. What do, you, what do you say to that person? What I say today. What I say is take the rest of the day off, have a drink, get up in the morning, <laughs> and make ten video text messages. Do a video. Don't be a secret agent. Start rebranding yourself, and quit thinking you can't do it because you can. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate you. Um, we're, we're, uh, we're out of time, but this was fire. This was really good. This is going to go down in the history uh, of our, of, yeah, as, as one of the best. So show Tammy some love. I'll mute yourself. Say goodbye. Yeah. Um, thank you all. And I hope to see you. Tammy. Tammy. Have a good day. Thank you. Barbara. Thank you. Bye, Nolly. Adios. Hi, y'all. Bye. Hey, Maurice is asking, what app do you use for video text messages? Let's keep it simple. Just the one on your phone. Camera on your phone. Camera on your phone. That's it, baby. If you send it through Facebook, tell them this isn't spam so they they know that it's not spam. But either way, yeah, keep it simple. Just open up your text messages right here and start shooting. That's it. All right. Love y'all. Thank you, Tammy. You're welcome. Thanks, Holly. Bye.